In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do time blocking in Google Calendar. Now, time blocking is essentially a way of planning your day. So you can essentially plan what time you're going to do something for how long and how often. So you can use Google Calendar to do this. And I like Google Calendar because you can have it on your computer. You can also have it on your phone, your iPad, and you can get notifications and time updates when it's time to do things. So first you want to go to calendar.google.com and you should already be logged in with your Google account. And that's why I like it as well, because it syncs with your Google account. Here it's then going to show you today's date. So today's date for me is January the 2nd. You can see it's today by this button here and you can then flick through the days with these arrows here. Now time blocking is essentially a visual way of planning. It's not a to-do list. It's essentially just like how your day is going to look like. It's essentially a way to structure your day, right? So let's say that we want to wake up at 8 a.m. Let's say we want to create a block here, which is kind of like wake up and prepare for the day. And in this block it includes kind of like breakfast, shower and just general getting ready to start the day. So we can go ahead and click between eight and nine and it's then going to create a block. Now we can give this a title or select an event here. You can also select a task but tasks require you to check them off. I like events. So we're going to go and add a title and I'll call this wake up and breakfast. So once I've typed that in I can then make sure we've got the times right. So this is going to go from eight to nine. You can also add a description or attachments here. We don't really need a description for the breakfast, right? Well, you can also then click on this button and you can change the color. So maybe I want breakfast to be banana yellow and we can then set a reminder 30 minutes before, one hour before, or if we don't want a reminder, we can click this X and it will completely remove the notification. I like reminders for my tasks though, but maybe I don't want one for breakfast. So we can save this and now we've got wake up and breakfast. Now I'm on the 2nd of January, which is today. So that's that's why this is grayed out because we're currently at 8.45 p.m. Now what I can do if I want this to be constant, I can go edit event and I can say here repeat daily or I can go repeat every weekday. So if you're just planning for the week and you want a working week here, you can select here every weekday, Monday to Friday. And now if we go to the third, we're going to have wake up and breakfast every day. I've also got a card here, which I can just click on and delete. And you can see this is a recurring event. I'm going to delete this for all events. You could even delete a card for just this event, but we'll get onto that in a second. So now maybe at nine o'clock, we want to start work and we've got a call. So maybe I've put here call with team and maybe this is going to last for 30 minutes. So we can go ahead and select 30 minutes here and I can change the color to green. And maybe I do want a notification for this 30 minutes before or even 15 so I can get ready for the call. You can also add a description so I could be like call about YouTube analytics and then save. So now we can see this, we can see it's a call about YouTube analytics. Now what you can also do is invite people to this. So I can invite guests and invite people who I generally talk to on, on Gmail or with Google products. And if I click here, their emails are going to appear. Now we can do this for all of the tasks throughout the day. Like maybe we want lunch here. Again, you can decide if you want these to repeat. So if I choose here lunch, I can go lunch 12 to one. And if I click on this, I can get this to repeat every weekday. And by doing this, you can have a very visual way of seeing your calendar. And what I like to do is set this. So as soon as I open Google Chrome, my Google calendar appears and to do that, go to Chrome, you then go to settings here, you then want to go to on startup, and I get my Trello board coming up and also my Google Calendar. So it just kind of gets me started for work if I just see my calendar straight away and my Trello board. You can also plan into the future. So like say if on the 18th, I've got like something I need to do, I can obviously type that in and add that as an event. So you can plan in the future, you can plan for the present day, tomorrow, and it's a great way to visually see your schedule. And that's pretty much all you have to know about Google Calendar. Download the app as well on your phone and it will be a lifesaver. So that's how you can use it. I hope that video helped you out.